Okay, let's get into our next subject, which is firewalls. Most of us already have some sort of software firewall installed on our computers. So the question may be, why do we need another firewall installed on our router? Okay, well a good analogy is the hardware firewall installed on your router. It's kind of like the bouncer at a club. The bouncer at a club basically follows a certain criteria as to who to allow and who not to allow inside the club. Whereas inside the club, you'll have security personnel who basically monitor the people that the bouncer has allowed into the club and make sure they don't misbehave. If they do misbehave, actions are taken to remove them from the club. So the software firewall installed on your computer basically serves the same purpose as the security personnel in your club. The software firewall on your computer keeps an eye on software installed on your computer and if it notices any strange behavior it will typically prompt you for instructions as to whether stop that activity or allow it. The hardware firewall on your router is really not concerned with the software installed on your computer. It's basically concerned with traffic on your network. Earlier when we were discussing routers I said that routers use something called NAT or network address translation to transfer traffic from the internet to your home network and back again without allowing the IP addresses on your home network to be exposed to the evils of the internet. Well this is sort of a firewall function but it's not everything we expect or need from the firewall on a router. The firewall feature you want to make sure you get with your router is called SPI or Stateful Packet Inspection. What Stateful Packet Inspection does is it basically examines every packet that goes through it and determines whether that packet is being generated from a legitimate source or not. So what's an example of a legitimate source? An example of a legitimate source is you checking your email or you surfing the web. An example of a non-legitimate source is a Trojan or some sort of spyware sending out data mining information about you and your surfing habits out to an address on the internet. An SPI firewall generally evaluates traffic based on what port it's using. An example of a port we would want to keep open is port 80. Port 80 is the web surfing or HTTP port. Another port we want to keep open is port 25 outbound. Port 25 outbound is the port we use to send email. An example of a port we don't want open is port 25 inbound. Port 25 inbound allows spammers on the internet to use your computer as a relay for their spam. And this can cause you to appear to be the one who's sending the spam out in the first place. Now before you panic, don't worry. Most firewalls already come pre-configured with a set of rules which keep all the legitimate ports open and non-legitimate ports closed. There's very little for you to configure unless you have some sort of an application or a game that needs to access the internet and will not function without certain ports being open. For example, if you have a game that requires port 9873 to be open in order for it to function, you would go to a port forwarding utility on your router and simply say, okay, I want to allow traffic back and forth on port 9873 to be allowed to go back and forth to IP address and then whatever computer that you have that application or game on. We'll discuss how to do that in more detail later on.